we had a great quarter. Um, subscribers up 28 percent, revenue up 18 percent, uh, gross margin up 430 basis points, and operating income up 30 percent. So is this just a comp issue in terms of you know, what, was think, what we're coming up against? What you know, look, the stock's up 100 percent on right. the year. So I think it's people understanding kind of the cadence that we're in. It was our first summer program. And actually, if you look at the subscriber numbers um, and where we ended the quarter, it was kind of not much unchanged. So if you adjust for seasonality, we were really pleased with the results, particularly of summer. There were some analysts mm. who commented on the fact that in terms of your media buying program, it's been in the digital world, not in traditional linear TV. And has that had any impact on, in terms of your reach? But you know what? We did run TV for summer. What we said was we were not running TV for fall, which is actually the shortest time frame for media. And for me, coming from a media background right. and understanding the power of our digital marketing, we're a video marketer. It's just a matter of what platform we choose to use. And we're seeing great success from six-second video up. So you're going to see a lot of Weight Watchers for fall, you're just not going to see it on a linear broadcast. You're going to see a lot of social platforms. You're going to see a right. lot of storytelling and Using media. Using who? Let's talk about the celebrities that are going to be involved. I mean, because this is this has become a celebrity celebrity business to some degree as well. You know, there are influencers that we think have impact. And what was great for summer. Um, using our influencers, we're actually diversifying our base. So we saw younger, we saw more men. We ran our first Father's Day campaign oh. with DJ Khaled, right. Kevin Smith, um, Chef Eric Greenspan. So we're really seeing the diversification, and that's important for us to be able to grow. Talk huh? about the summer. Oh, I was no, saying Michelle, the summer go. program because we were speaking about that earlier. What time of year and the Q2? Yeah. How, how did that go? Well, it went extremely well. And the premise was that people want to be healthy 12 months a year, not just in January. Uh, so we ran a first summer campaign in the company's history, and hence you're seeing the results. In addition, we had the launch of our first in-app invite a friend, which was very successful. So if you think about it, we had a 70% conversion on the invite a friend, and 70% of those were new. And we didn't even market it heavily. So that'll be a big factor in our fall campaign as well. Do you see healthy food companies, protein shakes, those types of things as a rival or not? Are they a totally different type of service? You know, I've said it before, our biggest competition is people thinking they can be healthy themselves. And you can eat anything you want on Weight Watchers. We're just giving you the tools to understand how you make choices for the healthiest right. way you can eat, whether you want to lose weight or not. Ten seconds on intermittent fasting, since every, a lot of, we know a lot of people talking about it, at least. Look, I always say there's always going to be the sexy new thing, but what happens is people come back because it works.